We're in the TV Land Comic Con suite with Santiago Cabrera of Salvation. Welcome. Thank you. I'm sorry, that's Vice President Santiago Cabrera. <laughs> yeah. How did you react when you uh, heard that he'd be getting this uh, lofty position in season two? Uh, I thought it was a great, great storyline because it was like yeah. Darius, a man who's always in control and knows exactly, you know, in power and, and knows his surroundings, is now kind of put into an atmosphere that he has no, no clue about. He doesn't know how to be a politician, but uh, uh, how he navigates it. But at the same time, it's attractive because he can now use the power to do things the way he would like to do things. Darius just shut off the internet. Who on the cast would freak out the most if the internet actually shut down? I think it's the ones that are like tweeting the most and using social media the most. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think uh, probably the young one, I'd say I'd have to say uh, Charlie, although he's not, he doesn't excessively use it, but you know. I'll just put him in there because he's the youngest. But you'd be okay. You'd be okay. <laughs> I'd be okay. Yeah. I'd be okay for a while. But I mean, we depend on our phones nowadays like crazy. You think you're okay until you <laughs> misplace it or something, and then suddenly you like, feel naked. So where we left off, DC's like basically <clears throat> under mob rule with Bennett's uh, rogue people. Yeah. Grace has the video on her phone. She needs to get it to the White House, but you all just shut down the internet. What next? Does Darius have another trick up his sleeve? Does he have like a bat cycle? Or? Always a trick up his sleeve, uh, Darius. Yeah, the writers come up with some great stuff. I mean, it's it's in a way, I'd say that the next episode is kind of the culmination of, 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 of one story and then a new one begins and then the, from episode end of five and six onwards it goes into some crazy directions and uh, it's really exciting. I'm actually really excited to watch it and I, I, re I loved this season from the get-go. I love what they were doing. And especially from around six onwards, I really started to, to get into it and I've had so much fun. If yeah. Darius and Grace are able to reunite, uh, do you think he's going to kind of like just put down any artifice and just kind of like reaffirm their feelings for each other? He's been kind of been a little chill this season. Yeah, it's been like, you know, it's kind of like the impossible love story. And I think now he's vice president, he's got so much on his plate and it's like the nature of what's going on makes it sort of uh, impossible for him to kind of even go there with a relationship. But there's definitely... There's definitely time, and I, I think it's safe to say that audiences will get a little something. And then lastly, do you guys get a kick out of how the show kind of like brushes up against these real-world things, even though you shoot so far in advance, but you just had like a Supreme Court-themed episode, yeah. The Night of the Supreme the night Court. Of, I know, it's crazy. Yeah. It's, it's, it's really crazy. And then Liz wrote something now in episode 13 that we were about to shoot, and suddenly it, it was some scientific thing, and it just suddenly it was everywhere in the news, and it came up, and things like that keep happening. And it's great because it feels how, you know, how current it is and how sort of relevant it is uh, with what's going on today.